Hey YouTubers, it's uh, RV Camper Living with Edward Martin. I uh, just wanted to show some progress on this Nova Hood. Uh, my other video, um, this will be my just my fourth video. I put a, a round bar through the hood here, all the way across to the other side, fiberglassed it in. And uh, these sides were bent down. It made it look like the hood went down an angle. Like it laid actually laid down in there all the way and up out here so that's reshaped looking back across it and then i refiberglass the hood all the way around it has four rubber stoppers all the way around the hood for it to actually lay on and then i uh, did some body work to get get my lines tight the gap around the hood i just got done that and uh Cut it out with a knife, these little strands to open the gap up and then pull everything off, you know, the hood off and then sand them back down. And then had to give the front of the hood some arch, it was pushed in. And then here I cut it to uh, heat it up and pull it down because it was in on an angle like that. And then here was way down here about half an inch or so so I sliced it inside heated it here pulled it up and then same thing there bondo it all in you know glass everything first and then this is just very light very light coat of the lightweight mud and there's a little strips I cut out and then when that hardens tomorrow I can go back and clean my lines out make them nice and another thing on each side of the hood this cow panel has got a good front. Yeah, you can see right there, it's not all the way front. There's only gonna be a quarter inch gap along here. It used to be about the tip of my finger, about three quarters of an inch short on this side, and then about, on that side, about three eighths of an inch shy. So I refiberglassed all that stuff as well. And then these radiuses went up like this and back, and I filled them in. They're an eighth of an inch from the cow here on each side. And then the fenders are bolted in. I did these as well. Made my own lines. They're just rough right now because the mud in behind there needs cut out. But I'm going to have a quarter inch gap around all but. And the hood's going to be about the same way. A little bit tighter because I want it clean looking. And then I'll tighten these gaps up here for the cow later. So they're all kind of uniform. And then... Uh, shaped the fenders and uh, mudded those in and uh, that's probably hard to see with my awesome lighting but that way the fender doesn't stick out from the it's hard to see it that way they're even the right side I just shaped it and uh, got the fiberglass on it there door was okay a couple low spots and high spots of course where the bare metal is and uh, so that's all glassed in and tomorrow I'll take this lightweight filler and uh, do this jam here as well just coat it all so they're even I mean they, I do have them pretty close panel to panel looking looking across not looking down the crack and then uh, another little angle here might be because I didn't sand or anything until tomorrow. As you look across the hood. That way they're even. It used to go dip down here and go up in the air then stick out about a quarter inch higher than the fender. So I refiberglassed everything. So I had some material all the way along here. That I could actually put the hood where it is and I ground it down flat all this was all flat this is only a very very little eighth inch some places not um, coating of lightweight filler to make the body panels even with each other and this was a uh, three three different pieces of a fiberglass front end uh, I don't think they went together maybe just the two fenders but this one fit the molding good 
<clears throat> this one didn't fit the molding good. It was actually that filler in the hole here. Oh, I can pop that out real quick. Just to stick this on. It's, it's uh, filler sticking in here so it won't let my molding go in all the way. So I'll give you an idea of what I was talking about. Just a little bit better. What was happening was is the uh, molding lining up with the hood the molding was down like this on an angle like the top of my fingers I mean a good I don't know half inch or more that's why I just slice this here I went up here and sliced it down an angle and heated it up, poured it out. Took a shim here, which is just a stone. I found a place to stick it where I wanted it. With this molding on, the hood was on, kind of in place with the molding on. I took it off for body work, but that way I knew they lined up. It was down and in. So, it begins, it twisted it so far. Down the side here, wouldn't line up so I got all that in place it's just I have filler holding it out right now right here so once it's once it's all sanded tomorrow I'll put another video up um, with the hood and fenders and this body lines all lining up but the uh, Bumpers fiberglass and the uh, cow is sheet metal, factory cow from another Nova. But nothing lined up, so you know, what do you do? It's on a lower budget. And then I'm making my own uh, fiberglass inner wheel wells to the frame that will be custom handmade by me. And I'll show videos of that. I actually have, let's find my light. Maybe I can show you. I have a template hanging down here. Cardboard template hanging down here. There's a lot of modifications to do to it yet. And this panel and piece in the back is just a splash guard. Most cars have this, don't have. Now that line down here, right beside my light, where it's tore, the carp, that's going to go straight down, like right there. So it closes that gap. I just used a piece of cardboard. And I got it to fit everywhere real good. All the way to the bottom. I just need that, that line right here straightened. It was only a temper no a template. And then uh, this all gets moved around. I cut the contour of the frame. Cut the angle of the control arm close enough for now till we put the wheels and tires back, put the weight on the car plus some so when this front end goes off the ground and slams down it don't smack into my wheel wells and it's all cut around the body neat that I'm also have a template laying here somewhere that I made a, a filler for here too all the way down to here so it keeps the road dirt and debris because this is a drag car and it will but it will be driven street you know on the street as well so and then this is that one in my other video that's my second video that has the LS1 in it. And that's all I could say about it. I ain't doing it to like expose the guy what he's building, but at least that's what's under the hood that I showed before. And another thing we're doing is cutting out. Somebody cut the wheel wells up inside to get a bigger tire a little a little wider of a tire but uh, this side here you can see we got the wheel well 
cut out. Got rusty metal in the outer half of the inner wheel well to replace, and then got a uh, see, there's the old one. They cut the inner lip out to squeeze a bigger tire in. Anybody knows cars have a lip on the wheel well, and you can see. see it right here it don't that's when we cut out and then somewhere laying up here God, it's all dusty but here's going to be the the new panel be cutting the welded in if I can do this with one hand There's, a, there's one pre-cut. I ain't fitting it perfect with one hand. But, uh, and there's the other panel for the other side. It gets wheel well openings. Then it gets the whole car paint and body. It's still got a lot of work to do. It's strictly going to be a drag car. Put, put gauges in it. Roll cages in there. And one seat. And a little bit of aluminum in the back. Can't really see it. There it goes. But that's it. Nothing special. It's going to be a drag car. Well, it is a drag car. But I'll put the video up on the other fender and some other body work as I go along. Make some progress. Not much to see here. It's not a lot of room to get back and look at it. And then uh, that stick stand in there, that was a prop for my hood earlier, which I no longer need. I was trying to keep the keep the hood lined up, propped up right here with that stick so I could see where to put my body lines or not. So I propped it up to there and then did the, all the finishing on it. Uh, glass and then that thin coat of mud I just put on that lightweight then this hood's actually gonna have two hood pins which these are only temporaries right here and we just put them in so I knew where to keep the hood and they they were in but a different location they were actually up here on both sides but I wanted to stay away from my round bar that I put in across the hood more so we moved them over and back and measured them out the same and then uh, I'm going to make this hood actually pick up slide forward and the front will drop then I will make it stand up on its own that way it's straight up so when you're at the races or something you gotta get under the hood quick it's up out of the way this used to have the hood pins there and hood pins used to be here and over here but when you're at the track yourself, who wants to pick a fiberglass hood up and lay it down yourself? They're light, but I think till I'm done working on it, it's going to be a few more pounds, you know, a couple pounds heavier. But why not have the convenience of picking your hood up, slide it forward, it'll drop down so it clears the nose of the car, and then have it flip up, period. And then have a prop rod on it, and then I'll... I'll mold all that in the hood, the fiberglass, and into the fiberglass fender. And then an aluminum rod instead of steel. Not that that'll slow the car down much, but I think any old car, regardless of your metal, unless you let it, and we don't do that here, um, unless you would let it, your car is going to be have a slower times anyways because most of the old cars get hundreds of gallons of Bondo in it, it seems but I like to weld everything and glass it but yeah not a lot to look at because it ain't together yet but I'll uh, send some videos out on YouTube and hope I get a thumbs up and I'm new to this I think this is my it's just my fourth video but uh 
I know this doesn't have much to do with uh, camper RV living, but that's where I live. And I'm for hire and I'm mobile. That's why I have a camper. I am used to working for myself and travel anywhere I want and work. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just not one that's on the road posting those videos. Um, I do follow a lot of uh, RV channels and uh, like their videos and uh, I like the drama too everybody does uh, when something dramatic that makes it exciting to watch my videos happen in my life I wouldn't have time to start to record it that would be my luck so that's the way it goes a couple of little projects sitting here covered up get into all that once time but uh, fit this front end up do them inner wheel wells um, front behind you know behind the headlight and the rear splash guards keep the weather and the dirt and crap out off of your uh, headlights and uh, your uh, door jam and our thing here once this is together and the, uh, the the wheel well I'm gonna make fiberglass is gonna arch like that Should bend with the frame anyway they bend that's no big deal clear brake lines clear control arm um, but then you notice where the wiring harness goes it's gonna be outside of the wheel well because the wheel well is gonna be right tight to these brake lines I mean they're like right there quarter inch to spare when I had a my cardboard see the brown cardboard over there my template hanging on the inside of the fender with the yellow tape well then there's your LS one all dusty but then this is going to be exposed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fiberglass a nut and uh, inside the fender well and then put two uh, nuts here on the inside since the car's gutted out and I'm gonna make it so I can make a cover on an angle from an angle inside the wheel well over to here which will look you know I don't know how to explain that angle on you but here about six inches out and like three or so over I'm gonna make a cover and then encase the wiring harness in here on the back side of the uh, wheel well that goes to your headlights and all that and then uh, make a passage out out the side and up for like wiper motor and stuff like that um, anything else I don't need the heater is already out of it um, but then it's going to be like not square but I want to round it so any weather it's on it can just run off and put a little tiny little weep hole here in the back so if anything would get in there but that way it's a cover that's encased and uh, wrap fiberglass and built the same way I'm going to do the wheel wells I'll get in all that as I go and then uh, they'll be curved that slight little bit all the way up through then for example if there's any on the other side there's going to be a catch can instead of bolting it to a wheel well it's on, a, on an angle from here to the frame I'm going to hog that area out and make a place for it to bolt to in the back and actually look like it's a can sitting straight up instead of bolting them on an angle. I just like to make things custom and make them different is what it's about to me. Then I have to make a, some kind of round bar braces for here and then I'm going to make one from up in here. I'll probably go like right here. To that tab so on each side of the body and there's the area not a lot of weather can get inside your car but I'm still making plastic covers for that that is all pretty tight there's actually like three inches at the top you can't see it from my angle but it needs a plastic cover that's for sure if it's my car I wouldn't want my stuff getting all dirty um, then I'm gonna have uh, two tabs off of here you know one here going down the wheel well 
one over here going down the wheel well they're going to be fiberglass reinforced don't even need it but I'm putting it in anyways because I don't want ever want anything coming back and I never did have anything coming back and I never will have it come back because I'd rather go way overboard to avoid all that in my 25 30 years of doing this stuff so and there's a you can see right there is that round bar fiberglass in that goes across the hood and down around right here that'll save me flipping it over later just to show you but right at the tip of my finger and then going all the way end to end all the way across the hood bent one piece of round bar to stiffen that hood up because it sank down so low so there you go I'd just make another little video for you. Nice workbench. Old oak skid. Nothing fancy. But that's how we do get it done. Best you know how. For what you have to work with. Put it that way. So, I'll show you more of the, the old Nova then as we go along. And that's going to be gonna go uh, get the electronics put in a bunch of knick-knack crap whatever they want to do to it under the hood bolt to the firewall fender wells and all that stuff then it, when it's together and that you can throw it in gear and run it because right now it doesn't have a transmission in it and uh, then it's coming back for uh, paint and body work so then we'll get into all that and then and replacing the, the windshield other than that, then it's out of my hands. Just fit the fiberglass front end that was definitely not fitted right before. But like I said, all my lines, I'll take pictures of it. This is a tighter, cleaner gap than that big one in the back from the that the that the factory gives you. Look at my gaps. I hand cut them with this my knife just cut them right out that's it and then scrape that dust out of there and you have your gap back open so later on you can lift your hood up see if you don't cut them then I roll tape over backwards there it's hard to see that but you can see it sticking out I roll tape and I fold it and stick it in behind there to uh, hold hold the mud up so it doesn't put a quarter inch freaking bead down in there that you know quarter inch thick and that high till it runs down and glues my hood shut can't have that same way with this that's why I cut them tape them under there I just take the tape and take a flat piece of tape for example fold it in half just pieces at a time where it's bent then take a long straight and just squeeze them together and shove them down in there roll them a little bit to make them stick to the hood and fender and then just push them down in with a paint stick or or a putty knife or something and it pushes it down in like that, just so it's on the surface, kind of. So, not as much mud will run in there. You get a little bit, but not a lot. That's my trick to keeping the mud from running down in when you're trying to close gaps up. So, I'm, I'll make some more videos and, uh, figuring out how to make it more exciting to me this is exciting and uh, uh, maybe I'll do better next time maybe I'll get some uh, likes on this video if you like it um, hit subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up I really appreciate it